Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. So, a lot of you wanted to see an immune system and I have added immune systems to the Powder Toy. It's simple, it's not complex yet, we will make a more complex version in the future. Uh, but to start, I just added white blood cells, and these bad boys are pretty damn effective. You can see them here floating throughout the blood. I also made blood a little bit thinner, so it bounces around a little bit more, and that gives it a better chance to hit the walls of uh, capillaries and stuff. It just generally makes blood better, which means that I think I can remove these barriers that I put in place to try to get the blood to spread well. Um, I think this will greatly increase the capabilities of this organism. We'll see how it goes. But opening that up, you can see a lot more blood moving through. And you can see what I mean by that. It's It just kind of bounces around. I can increase the bounciness factor further, but I think that it's really improved the uh, state of the organism. And it was important to make it so that the white blood cells mix well. They kind of still get stuck a little bit on corners like this, but so will the bacteria. So let me demonstrate uh, the functioning of white blood cells to you guys. We are going to have to create a little bit of a chamber here with a little bit of mixing going on because if everything stays still, it will have a challenging time uh, running into and killing the bacteria. But if I create a little bit of a cyclone force in here and then put some blood in, there we go. And get some good mixing action here. So now that we have some blood that's flowing inside of this container, let's go ahead and add some oxygen. White blood cells use a lot of oxygen, and the bacteria needs oxygen to multiply as well. And inside of this container, let's go ahead and add some bacteria. We'll though, do this two ways. First, we'll just add bacteria and see what happens. Here we go. Boom. We have added it. Let's see what happens. We can already see it multiplying up here. It's starting to get a little bit of a foothold inside of this big vat of blood. And it's multiplying as you would expect. Um, it is going to continue multiplying as much as it can, stealing resources from that blood supply. And it wants to take over everything. <laughs> it's bacteria. It's going to do its very best to grow. We have a colony here that's grown at this spot and it is expanding extremely quickly, taking over. Now it's kind of all over the place and it is it is quite a mess. So you can see that is what happens when we add it. Let's do the exact same, well now it's dying, it's taken basically all of the resources out of the blood. So it's basically dead. Uh, now let's undo that, add the same three bacteria. Let them drop in and then let's add some white blood cells. We'll do a little bit more just so that they can do their job well. And you're going to see those white blood cells, when they get near the bacteria, they're going to do damage to it. And they're going to kind of convalesce at the same area as well, because the physics are the same for them. And you're going to see they're actually killing the bacteria. They're killing the bacteria and they're giving it a much harder time at multiplying. Now it doesn't do a perfect job, there is still bacteria there, and it may take a little bit for it to kill all of it, and it may not even succeed in killing all of it. But what happens is every time the white blood cells come in contact with bacteria, there's a small chance that the white blood cells will multiply, which is giving them reinforcements. Now the bacteria has a slight advantage because it can always multiply. Uh, which is why it's slowly taking control here. We need a stronger immune system. So let's add a little bit more back uh, white blood cells to try to take care of this before it's too late. I think it may actually be too late. <laughs> um, I may have to increase the power of the uh, white blood cells a little bit more. Just a little bit. I mean, they are, they are fighting. You can see that it's definitely killing a lot of it. That dead tissue is the... Uh, bacteria being killed. It's just the bacteria is is growing so quickly. It's trying its trying its best. So let's go ahead and make one slight adjustment. I do this during videos a lot. Let's go ahead and go over to the white blood cells and make them a little bit stronger when they're fighting. Let's go ahead and make them do 75 points of damage to disease. That's quite a bit. They can uh, they can kick some ass. <laughs> um, it uses a lot of resources, so I think I think it makes sense that it's pretty powerful. Let's go ahead and 
recompile. And we have our new version of the powder toy all prepared right here. Open this up and this time let's experiment using the actual thing, which I'm going to actually remove this from and resave. Um ah. Uh, testing organism. There we go. So our testing organism's now been opened up a little bit more. So that's cool. It's a little bit better at doing its job. Let's go ahead and fill it up with oxygen. Cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. And let's go ahead and drop some bacteria. Actually, let's drop the white blood cells in first to give it a chance to uh, disperse and get to the areas where it's most needed. So I'm gonna just give it a little bit of an immune system to start. So here we go. We have white blood cells. I don't wanna do too many because they do use a lot of resources but having a good amount in there will protect it and keep it safe. And they're gonna kinda group up at the same areas that the bacteria would group up. So let's see if the bacteria are able to get a foothold now. If we put some bacteria in, let's see the results. We'll put some right here, quite a few actually, and they are going to pass through this first spot. Let's use slow motion here to see what happens as they encounter this first group of white blood cells. Passing by, passing by, and it looks like all of the bacteria have actually been killed. Ah! They've all been killed, turned into dead tissue. We'll have a uh, thing that's able to deal with, I think the white blood cells should honestly be able to break down the dead tissue, um, but I'll add that later. So how much bacteria would it take to actually take over this cell now that it has an active immune system? Good question. Let's go ahead and put a big clump of bacteria in. So like, someone just got a massive cut, you know? We have a real invasion going on here. That's a lot of bacteria we just added in. And it is, it is fighting. We have a little bit of a battle going on here between the bacteria and white blood cells, but it looks like the white blood cells are winning. Although there is a little bit of an area here that's not very well covered. We have white blood cells coming in from above, which will hopefully deal with those. Ooh, or maybe not. They may have a little area over here where they can try to fight. That infection may cause a blood clot, if anything. But we have new white blood cells coming in from above and trying their best to fight. And it looks like the entire infection was dealt with. Would you look at that? Now, there is a little bit of damage here from the infection but the entire organism was not destroyed. So as you can see, it's effective. Um, the immune system is able to protect the organism. And even though we have a little bit of a cloggy cloggy going on here, I should have to fix that just by putting like a fan here, you know, ensuring that this stuff is getting moved. Getting moved. And okay, maybe that didn't work very well. What if I put it here, huh? There we go. I think that's helping. There we go. That's what I want. Very mixed in now. Very nice. I'm trying my best to make this organism as good as... Okay, that's not good because that's not hitting anything else now. Ah! We're getting backed up. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> Woo, making a, oh no. Oh shoot, that's not good. Uh, looks like we've done some real damage over here. I'll try to fix it up. Looks like some damage to the lungs. This is not good. Whoops. Looks like we were able to fix it though. And that's really what matters. All right, let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I think I think we did a pretty good job. Um, other than the whole it dying a little bit part. <laughs> so let's go ahead and save this again because now the flow through it's a little bit better. 
a lot of you guys had issues with my testing organism, but look! It's- it's doing better now. You see? It's doing good. Doing good. We got a good mix of immune system in here. But let's go ahead and- and really, really give it a hard time. I mean, the immune system at some point will fail. And we're gonna put it up against a, uh, enemy that there's no way it can beat. We're gonna- we're gonna chuck a lot of bacteria in. Just for, a uh, simulation of, oh god, oh no. The infection is winning. So with a major, major infection like this, you can see that the resources of the creature are being used up by the bacteria. Now a lot of this bacteria is being killed, but the lack of resources is causing the immune system to die off as well. It's not good for the white blood cells because they use a lot of resources. They have pretty high health though. So we'll see how long they make it. But after an attack like that, it looks like actually all of the bacteria were killed. Um, but the amount of damage to the organism is pretty, pretty, pretty great. We add a little bit more bacteria. Let's see if it's able to handle it. Another attack. I don't know. It's- it's not looking too good. I mean, the entire organism is kind of starved for resources now. I think the problem is going to get a, uh... Ah, well, over here we actually do have... We do have the bacteria gaining a small foothold in the lungs. The white blood cells are passing by, but it doesn't seem like they're doing enough. I believe this is because of the, uh lack of resources, they're just not able to, and this bacteria is actually stealing oxygen directly from the lungs, so it has a bit of an advantage. Whoa-oh. Whoa-oh. The organism is having some trouble now. It looks like the bacteria is actually dying off, but there's still some in the bloodstream. It's not like a full-on win yet. What I really have to do is I have to make a, uh, more powerful versions of the bacteria. And we could retest this with less of an immune system. Like, there are a lot of white blood cells in here. Let's go ahead and do set type white blood to blood. Now there's no white blood cells, and let's put far less. Let's put a, a reasonable but not extreme amount. Now, they will multiply when they run into trouble. But let's see how this does. Far less white blood cells this time around. Let's go ahead and throw some bacteria in. I do have to make bacteria a little bit more aggressive so that it actually damages white blood cells and other cells as it goes. But, as you can see, with less white blood cells, the bacteria is actually managing to gain a foothold. Um, yeah, a huge foothold. It's doing a ton of damage. Now, the white blood cells are doing their job. They are killing it, and they're preventing it from going absolutely insane, but they're not doing enough. Um, this is quite, this is quite dramatic. Now, the bacteria is actually having a little bit of trouble multiplying because there's just so... I need to make it so that bacteria can just feed on, uh, <laughs> feed on other organisms rather than needing the oxygen from the blood. Because otherwise they kind of just destroy themselves. But you know what? I've got time. Let's do it. Let's look at bacteria here and give it the ability to, uh, murder other cells. So, it steals oxygen and offloads CO2, but we're also going to do... Kill other cells for resources. So, if the oxygen of another... Actually, it'll just always do it. So, we'll do, um... We'll do parts... IR 
and we have to make sure that this isn't itself. Um, if T is not equal to bacteria, because right now the bacteria can hurt their own kind, which isn't really what we want. All right, so parts IR dot bio dot health minus equals five, and we'll just do parts I dot bio dot O2 plus equals five. So by killing the other cells, it's able to help itself to a little bit of resources. We'll do plus two. All right, we will recompile. And let's see how much damage bacteria is able to do now, uh, now that it can actually hurt her other uh, cells. Oh, we don't want that one. We want the... Oh shoot, did I do it in the normal one? My own. Where did I save it to? I saved it somewhere. Testing organism. Here we go. Here it is! Let's go ahead and give it a reasonable amount of oxygen so that it's not dying. Very nice. Alright, so now that we have that going on, there's some bacteria in here, right? Oh, it's white blood cells that are like absolutely dying. They, uh oh, it's all right, they'll heal up over time. Let's try this again, but uh, started out with some oxygen. Oh, I guess the white blood cells just very, they are not very happy. That's all right, let's go ahead and drop some bacteria in there and uh, see what happens. So, immediately dropping that bacteria in, we can see. They're doing well, they're pretty strong, and we can see the damage beginning to already take place. Look at the dead tissue as it begins killing the uh, blood and stuff in the area. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. I think, I think enough of it survived that there's gonna be a real issue. There are, there's just a couple of pieces of bacteria floating through the bloodstream. Those damaged white blood cells are still trying to do their best to stop it. Now what's interesting is with the changes I made now, they can actually do damage not only to the bloodstream, but if they're inside of other parts of the cell. So for example, if we introduce some bacteria into the skin, like here, you can see that it is actually damaging the surrounding tissue and causing it to die. And it's actually making its way into the bloodstream. Look at that. It actually ate its way through. And look at this! We got some infection on the outside. Kind of sticking to it. And now that it got into the bloodstream, it's wreaking havoc. Now I believe with a strong enough immune system, it would actually block it from getting in. Because the... White blood cells actually have quite some range on them. So let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and get some more white blood cells in there. There we go. Get a good amount in there. Why aren't they getting so dark? They don't really look like white blood cells when they're that dark. They're, they're like turning black odd i don't know i don't know why they're so upset probably because i'm murdering them health is at 112. 16. interesting all right but there's quite a few going through here which we can see uh with the nothing display we can really see there is a lot of white blood cells in here. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we attempt an attack from the outside. 
Let's go ahead and just put a little bit in here and let's see what happens. Those white blood cells are preventing it from getting in. At least a little bit. Oh. Oh. No, it still made its way in. I think we may have to uh, make it so that the skin and stuff can put up a little bit of a fight. But it definitely died once it got in. Uh, there is one left. And I think it just died. So overall, there there is certainly damage done over here. That's a lot of dead tissue. But the bacteria ended up losing. It made it in, but it wasn't able to get a foothold. And I should probably make it so that the very outer layer of skin is bacteria proof. Uh, because, you know, it's the very outer layer of skin. That's kind of the point. Although it seems to be able to protect it. Uh, it's being damaged, but it isn't being... Oh, no, it was, it was killed. <laughs> All right, I correct myself there. Cool. Well... I hope you guys are happy with the progress I've made. I think it's pretty cool having an immune system in the powder toy. Um, it's not super duper fancy, but as I said before, it is definitely a start. I mean, if we just go ahead and copy some of this blood here and let it... Oh, it's actually doing a little mixy-mixy itself. Um, we can definitely see... That the systems are working in kind of the way I intended. Which is always good when things work. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a mix. Go ahead and introduce a little bit of bacteria. Oh, I did way too much bacteria. That is way too much. Okay, I think they're going to win this one. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, look! The battle was actually won by the white blood cells, but at what cost? There's, there's nothing left. A lot of the blood died in the process. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. The GitHub is open for developers to go check out. And if you're not a developer, I'm going to have a downloadable version up soon. I'm hoping within the next week I'll get this to a point where I'm comfortable releasing it. So... Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Bye. Wow. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next time, and perhaps keep an eye out for a download link. I, I'm planning on putting one in the comments on this one, so hopefully it'll be there. Thank you, end credits gang, and I will see everyone next time. Bye.